Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew On Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing another what I eat in a day video. I think this is my fifth one and they're really fun to make. I'm enjoying doing it and I think I'm getting the hang of it. So I'll be showing you breakfast, lunch, and dinner today. I'm going to start off with some Southwest hash browns for breakfast. Lunch, I'm not too sure about. Same with dinner. So we'll just see how the day goes. But before all that, I'm going to be um, starting some pineapple in the dehydrator. I wanted to get that going because it's going to go overnight. And we have these beautiful pineapples. Um, my husband sliced them up for me this morning. If they're on sale in your area, grab them. If you have a dehydrator, this is the best way to save these pineapples. And I have a sweet tooth, so this really satisfies my sweet tooth and it's something that's healthy for you. So I'm just going to place these on the rack. Dehydrating these pineapples just brings out all the sweetness. They're so good. And then they will last for quite a long time. So I'm just going to continue putting these on the rack. I'm going to throw them in my dehydrator and then we're going to get started on those hash browns. Hi, I'm back. We're going to start those hash browns in just a minute. If you're new to my channel, I'm a plant-based RN and on my channel you'll find quick, easy, and delicious whole food plant-based recipes. I follow the starch solution way of eating and I was able to lose 15 pounds eating that way. If you'd like more information about the starch solution, I will leave a link in the description box. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more plant-based inspiration. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And sometimes I do a bonus video so you don't want to miss out on that. Now let's get started on this what I eat in a day starting with my Southwest hash browns. These hash browns are so easy. Everything's frozen except one thing. So let's show you what I got here. So I've got some Trader Joe's shredded hash browns. Put some in a bowl. And then if there's any like fr big frozen chunks like that, just break them apart. Now these are Southwest hash browns. So we're gonna have some roasted corn. And you know, for all my eyeballers out there, you'll get it but um, I will put exact measurements in the description box for your other people that like measurements. No problem. Then we've got Trader Joe's roasted peppers and onions. Put some of those in there. And then to bump up the nutrition, I've got some chopped spinach. This is how you get your vegetables with breakfast. And then I've got some black beans, because what's more southwest than black beans? And again, if there's any big clumps of any of the frozen vegetables, just break those up. Then for spices, do a little bit of salt, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. Then we've got some granulated garlic. Sprinkle a little of that in there. Again, probably half a teaspoon. And then I've got my onion powder, again, about a half a teaspoon. It's to your taste. And then of course, the Old Faithful smoked paprika. Then you just give it a good mix. Now I'm just gonna throw this in a hot skillet over here. And just kind of level it out. It's on a medium high heat. You want to put the lid on it. You're going to cook it about five minutes on one side and then we're going to stir it around. You could flip it if you want to. I'm not that talented. And then we'll cook the other side for about five minutes. So see you in a few. So here they are. I don't know if you can see that steam. Hot off the skillet. And then I like to top this with a uh, date ladies barbecue sauce, but you could use ketchup. And there you go, Southwest hash browns. 
Got your veggies and your potatoes all on one plate. Keeping with the Southwest theme, I thought I'd make a burrito bowl for lunch. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's a great way to use up leftover things in the fridge. Uh, things that are going to be going bad, just throw them in this bowl and put some salsa on there and you are good to go. Quick, easy, and it's delicious and you get so many of your veggies in one bowl. It's a perfect way to do a 50-50 plate uh, with, with this kind of a dish. So my base over here is just some shredded romaine lettuce. You could use whatever kind of lettuce you would like. I really like romaine, so that's what I'm going to use. And then I had some leftover rice, so we're going to put that there. And I did heat up the rice a little bit. I like my rice a little bit warm, but you could totally eat it cold. Then I'm gonna add some black beans. Get our protein, maybe a little more. Then I'm just gonna start adding the other ingredients. I've got some cucumber. One of my favorites, we've got the roasted corn. It was in our hash browns this morning. So why not carry that through to lunch? I've got some red onions. And then I have some red pepper. And then I have some tomato. Look at all these colors. And then I have this poor sad little avocado that's about ready to go bad. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on here as well. And then just whatever your favorite salsa is. I have a recipe for salsa on my channel, but this is just jarred. Or you could put lime, hot sauce, whatever you'd like. And that's it. That's the burrito bowl. Quick, easy, and filling. This is a ton of food, but not a lot of calories. So this is gonna fill you up, but not weigh you down. So now it's time for dinner, and I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm going from Southwest to Italian. I'm gonna make a quick and easy pasta dish. It's basically just spaghetti with marinara sauce, but I kind of doctor it up a little bit. And um, you see all my, my ingredients here. I start with some tomatoes, and these are just kind of a medley of cherry tomatoes. And these are only $5 at my store, this whole big box, this whole big container. And we're gonna have some onion, and then I love to use artichoke hearts in my sauce. It kind of gives it a little zip. And then some spices, and then I do use some jarred sauce to kind of um, even it out and I, cause I do like some sauce. And then I add a little balsamic glaze at the end. It's really delicious. So I've got a skillet heating up back here and I'm just gonna saute my onions and my garlic and then I'll show you what we do from there. I'm gonna also add a cup and a half of water, put the lid on, put up the heat a little bit and let these go for about 10 minutes. Once those tomatoes burst, I'm gonna use a potato masher and mash them down, and then I'll show you what's next. We start mashing. You just wanna break them down. At this point, you wanna add a little bit of your sauce in, probably about half a jar. Your artichoke hearts. I like to add a teaspoon or so of Italian seasoning. And I will add some red pepper flakes. So we like it a little spicy. And then we'll just let this simmer. I'm gonna be using the Barilla gluten-free pasta. This is to me, the best gluten-free pasta on the market. So here's our big bowl of pasta. I added some fresh basil on at the end, and I would serve this with a nice green salad, and you got your 50-50 right there. And then, um, there you have it. I think I'll give it a quick little taste.
if you don't mind, because it looks so dang good. Question for you, do you twirl your spaghetti or do you cut it up or do you use the spoon? Mm. Let me know in the comments below. But let me tell you, this is one satisfying dish. Mm. So good. Perfect at the end of the day. So that's it guys, that's what I ate today. Hope you liked it, hope you learned something, got some ideas. And if you found it helpful, if you could leave me a comment down below, I'd appreciate it. And also give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and share it. I appreciate you coming along with me today. And remember, all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet. And remember, what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. So we're back and we're gonna start those hash browns. But first I just wanna re So we're back. Okay, we, I. So I'm back. So I'm back and we're gonna start those hash browns in just a minute. But I just wanna make sure that I don't know what I'm talking about. So keeping with the Southwest theme, I thought I'd make a burrito bowl and this is one of my favorite quick and easy recipes. I mean, you just pretty much dump and eat. I mean, well, that didn't sound good. <laughs> that might not go over well.